Welcome back, friends. Local artist Eric Ajamangdua Jr. has been creating not one, but three amazing paintings for us throughout the show, and we're checking in with him again. Uh, Eric, how you doing? Pretty good. Um, my process always start with the black background and then go to the sensors and then the skin, and then, so it's like a step-by-step -step kind of process. Okay, how long have you been doing that process? I mean, you said you've been painting since you were 18 months old. I mean, <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Um, this particular process, I think I started really doing that around 2020. Okay. Um, you know, pandemic had plenty of time. Sure. Um, um, and it's been going pretty well. I've found a way to really um, refine it and just make the work faster, but also yeah. more impactful. Yeah. My biggest focus is always on the um, interactions of the characters. Okay. So the hand, you know, placements, the um, gestures, and all that kind of, uh, and all you know, the different movements and such. Um, I suppose you know, like the contour lines, because those take a, those take a long time. Yeah. Well, so. that's the thing. I was trying to figure out what it is about it that you captured that emotion, mm -hmm. yeah. and you can see it. You see the joy here. You see the embrace here and you're right the hand placements and the way that you've done that really just helps it jump off of the canvas yeah so that definitely is the intent um i consider myself to be a conceptual artist okay so a lot of the storytelling is really looking at the impressions of the um characters and how they also you know project a certain type of emotion yeah to the audience that's great. Well, we're going to let you continue to work on these. You can give Eric a follow right there on Instagram, ea.js underscore studio, to see more of his work, and uh, you can support it as well. Eric, thank you. Thank Thanks. you, Eric. Yeah. Looking right. forward to checking in with you again yeah. soon. <laughs> well, uh, let's go check in with our friends from Taffy's Touch Senior Dog Rescue. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yes, please welcome to the founder, Nikki Sanders. She's also brought along volunteer Katie Chastain, and then, of course, <laughs> these little cuties, ladies, would you mind introducing us to these fine little gentlemen here? <laughs> sure, this is Ace. Hi, He's Ace. a little 13 year old men pen. Oh, how Ace. you doing, bud? Came Hello. to us from a local shelter. Okay. Hi, Ace. And this is Corbin. He's 13, and uh, his owner was elderly and couldn't take care of him any longer. Okay. And that's what's so unique about what you're doing. We are talking about senior dogs specifically. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about Taffy's Touch? Sure, yeah. We take age eight and older, all breeds, all sizes. Um, they come to us from shelters all over the state and surrounding states, um, and then also from owners. You know, a lot of times people have to move into a nursing home or yeah. to an assisted living, and they can't take their beloved friend with them, so that's where we come in. What inspired you to start this in the first place? Uh, I decided to foster Taffy, a little uh, red Pomeranian, when we were all down with, um, you know, in the COVID days in 2020. Yeah. And she just touched my heart so much. She had cancer, she was blind. So she lived with me for about three months and when she passed, I decided I needed to help more old dogs to oh, not be in the shelters. Yeah. yeah. You find that need for it. And yeah. as a volunteer, I'm sure you see that as well and it's, and it's fulfilling for you. Yes, absolutely, yeah. I like, um, enjoy working with the dogs and helping Nikki as much as I can. How did you find Nikki? Well, we've been friends for a long time, but actually we both work in the social services field with, okay. and we've done most of our career with the elderly, so. Oh, wow. wonderful, so. yeah. Dogs bring so much comfort. I know these guys need a home. Yes. So yeah. talk to us about maybe who would they be best suited for? What kind of home? Absolutely. Well, both these boys are dog friendly. Ace here can be a little bit picky with his friends. Okay. <laughs> um, but he's super sweet once he warms up to you. Selective. He's, yeah, he's yeah. selective. Which, he's still active. He's on the move. He's mm -hmm. very much on the move. Yeah. Um, he runs like a little puppy sometimes. That's so great. super sweet boy. And then Corbin here is just, he's shy, but he would fit into any home. Look at those eyes. Kind of oh, man, they just bring yeah, you right he's, in. He's a sweetie, boy. for sure. 13 years old. I yes. mean, that's like over 90 in dog years. Yes, yeah. 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 These little the ones can live a long time. Yeah. You know? What's the greatest need that you all have uh, at Taffy's Touch? Well, honestly, um, we usually have about 30 to 35 dogs at a time, and we cover all medical bills for okay. each dog. Oh, so wow. that's surgeries, anything from dental, spay, neuter, hernia repair, all kinds of things. Wow. Um, and we're all donation based. So um, monetary donations are the biggest need, of course. Sure. So we could always use supplies like leashes, blankets, dog beds of all sizes. Yeah. We provide all supplies to our foster homes too. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. that's amazing. That's a great service that you also offered that. Yeah. Yep. yeah. In Thank terms you. of the future, where do you see this going? Um, honestly, we're all foster based right now. I would love to have like a little old dog sanctuary. Yeah. A little area where I, I could that. help more dogs at one time sure. and just let them live out their days um, oh, happy. Fun. 
Katie, what's one of your favorite parts? If someone's thinking about maybe volunteering, what what advice would you give them? Yeah, um, events are really fun. Okay. I think we're really trying to do a lot more events, so um, um, it's just nice to meet new people yeah. and um, yeah, get out there and people love seeing the dogs at events. Such a great Thank cause people. that you can support. Taffy'sTouchRescue.com or you can give uh, them a call right there. Let's get Ace. Yes. And Corbin, a home. Let's get them some home. Yes. Yeah, yes. Go to that link to learn Absolutely. more. Yeah, Ace has just been. He's at. just. Yeah, I like, I like he's it. a little nervous. He That's feels okay. young. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. Just, he's young at heart. Uh -huh. so this is just a little cutie. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks, ladies. ladies. Thank you for sharing. Thank more you about for what having us. Yeah, you yeah. absolutely. Well, we're going to introduce you next to the founder of a service called Wealth Ramp, who wants to help you to connect with a vetted and local certified financial planner. That's right. But first, here's a word from our friends over at Indie Decorative Concrete. Take a look. Hi, bud. It's the season for entertaining outside and enjoying the sunshine, finally. And our next guest, Audrey Artizone from Indie Decorative Concrete, wants to help you to create the outdoor space that your family and friends are going to love. Hi, Audrey, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, it is the season for outdoor yes. entertaining. Um, let's talk about how you can help people really get that perfect outdoor experience. So first yeah. let's talk about what is stamped concrete in the yeah. first place. Yeah, so stamped concrete, we um, are very familiar with it, but sometimes people aren't really familiar with it. Um, Stamp concrete is where we mix concrete color into the concrete chalk. Okay. Pour it out and we can get it to look like anything, like slate, um, cobblestones, flagstones, uh, wood, brick, anything you can kind of think of, and any color combination. So um, really unlimited design options, color options, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's good to have those choices. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. as opposed to just cold gray. Yes, yeah. cold gray or, <laughs> you know, when you think of like pavers, they're very kind of set in stone sure. with, um, um, with the shape and that kind of thing. Yeah. So having the look of wood without the maintenance of wood, having the look of flagstones without that maintenance, that kind of thing. That's great. Talk to us about how has your company grown uh, over the past several years and why do you think that is? Yeah, so we really pride ourselves on being one of the only people that are solely direct to consumer in the industry. Okay. Um, so we only are dealing with homeowners, we don't use any subcontractors, um, and we really focus on just having good customer service because mm. we've all dealt with a bad contractor when you think about it. like. We've all dealt with the person who doesn't have good communication, doesn't get back with you on time, and then once they have your money, how do you think that they're gonna deal with it if you have a problem? Yeah. So we really pride ourselves that we have a one, three, and five year warranty on all of our projects. Okay. Um, and we really stand behind all of our projects. It sounds like you all are big enough where people can have all the unique choices and combinations Absolutely. that you're offering but yet small enough where you get that personal touch, especially with the customer service, which I think is such an important aspect of a project. Yeah. To, to know exactly who you're working with. And yeah. if you got a problem, you can solve it. Agreed, agreed. We always say we're big enough to service, but small enough to care. That's great. Yeah. So let's talk about the summer. It's coming up, it's yes. gonna be here before we know it. If people wanna get a patio installed before summer hits, can they still do that? Yeah, absolutely. We are definitely booking for the summer for sure. Um, and we just ask that they call our offices or send us an email or anything that they'd like. Um, we can get one of our non-commissioned sales estimators out there, get them a price that day, and then get them on the books. It's nice to have a salesman who's non-commissioned based yeah. because it's not, not too pushy. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's just the how can we help you? Let's, let's yeah. figure it out together. Agreed. What's one of your favorite parts of your job with Indie Decorative Concrete? I love dealing with the customers, doing this kind of stuff, just really making that brain awareness. Yeah. Um, when people think of having their backyard, having something done, a lot of the time they only think of wood, they think of um, composite now, but stamp concrete really isn't something that comes to mind. When they think of concrete, they really just truly think of like the gray. Yeah. But we can make it look so beautiful. It looks like a piece of art in your backyard mm. with low maintenance. Um, like I said, more design colors or more design options, more more color combinations, um, and low maintenance is like always the biggest. Push. That's key, especially with like a wooden deck. You never know what you're going to get. It. I mean, nails yeah. popping up. You know, splinters, all that staining. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like this is a uh, this is a great opportunity for the future for the long haul. Absolutely, and yeah. it, too, it's also typically cheaper than any of those options. Um, and it adds value to your home. That's great. Audrey, yeah. if people are interested and they're like, I think we should do that, where, yeah. what's the first step of where they should go to get more information? Yes, visit our website at IndieDecorativeConcrete.com and we can get someone out there to help you. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, there's more Indie Now coming up right after this. Stick around, friends.